Welcome to a tour of Wild Aid's conservation programs in Google Earth. First, we start at the Galapagos Islands, where a hawksbill turtle forages in the reefs. Hawksbill populations have declined by more than 80% in the last century and are considered by many to be the most endangered sea turtle in the ocean. Next, we visit the whale sharks off the coast of Isla Mujeres in Mexico. Whale sharks are the largest fish in the ocean. These gentle giants feed on tiny plankton. An estimated 200,000 sharks per day are pulled from the oceans to feed the demand for shark fin soup. In Churchill, Canada, we visit a polar bear who is threatened by the loss of Arctic sea ice. Wild Aid is working to introduce legislation to increase their level of protection in key locations. A mother and baby African elephant make their way through the Kenyan savanna toward a watering hole. Today, approximately 100 elephants will be killed for their ivory. In the ocean by West Papau, Indonesia, manta rays visit the coral reefs for feeding and cleaning. The elusive manta ray is targeted for its gill rakers, which are used as an ingredient in Chinese tonics. India's Corbett National Park is home to about 170 tigers. Worldwide, only 3,200 wild tigers remain compared to 100,000 at the turn of the century. Here is a picture of a rhino from Morrisdale Ranch, South Africa. Rhinos have been on this planet for 50 million years, and of the five species that remain, all are endangered or vulnerable. China is the largest consumer of endangered wildlife products. Working with national celebrities and leaders like Yao Ming and Jackie Chan, Wild Aid focuses its campaigns to raise awareness and reduce consumer demand for these products. With the support of media partners, Wild Aid's message reaches a billion people each week in China. In India, Wild Aid works with celebrity ambassadors and media partners to spread its conservation message. Wild Aid works with key forest communities to reduce human-animal conflict. Wild Aid initiated its Galapagos program over a decade ago to manage this special marine protected area and to help develop a comprehensive enforcement model. In West Papau, Indonesia, Wild Aid works to develop a locally staffed ranger patrol to guard the Coral Triangle's no-take zone and aims to expand the no-take radius to connect with the Raja Ampat and Dharam Islands. In the waters surrounding Cocos Island, we see beautiful hammerhead sharks. Wild Aid was commissioned to design a national marine and coastal protection plan for all of Costa Rica's 13 marine protected areas. The final design was presented to local authorities in March of 2012. Wild Aid is headquartered in San Francisco. Legislation to ban shark finning was recently passed in California, and progress is being made to scale this around the world. A sea change builds for greater conservation of our threatened wildlife.